<sighs> Can I do this? I don't know. <sighs> I'm really happy to have today with me Panos Astorkofas, one of the best portrait photographers in Greece. He studied mechanical engineer and worked in a job that he hated, but then he decided to take a huge leap and turn his passion into his full-time job. We are also taking an extra challenge today because during the podcast we'll be eating hot chicken wings. When I say hot, we actually have the hottest sauce in the world. This is going to be an interesting one. Panos Astorkofas. Hello. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, if you have seen the previews, uh, you should probably notice that um, something different here. Yeah, something you, different here. You want to torture me, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will explain what we're doing today, but first, uh, really fast, let us know who you are, what you do. Okay, I'm Panos. I am a photographer and i am in the photography business for two years now but i am uh, i had it as a hobby for around four years but i made the transition in uh two in a two years period of, period of time i was uh an engineer but we're gonna talk about it so first of all uh this is not the normal podcast so first thank you for accepting the challenge <laughs> the challenge accepted um I have posted that I bought those hot sauces on Instagram mm -hmm. some while ago, and I asked who's up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. You answered first. Of course <laughs> I did. We also talked about doing a podcast, so it seemed fair to do a Hot Ones um, tribute kind of podcast. The perfect opportunity. <laughs> um, for those that you don't know what Hot Ones is, is a YouTube show that the guest uh, eats hot um, wings along the way as and answering questions. So we're going to do the podcast as normal, mm -hmm. but along the way, we're going to also eat uh, hot sauces, um, okay. starting from really low to the hottest uh, sauce in the world right now. The boom. Yeah. The boom. I, I know that you're um, also a fan of the show. Yeah. And so I know what's going to happen. And you also love to eat hot. Uh, Hot wings and yeah, hot stuff. I love I love spicy food. Spice, I, th right. I think I can handle it, but I don't think I have ever had something this hot. To be okay. honest, did you prepare it? mentally? Mentally, yeah. <laughs> did you prepare mentally? Yeah, in a way. I think so. I have my milk here, so I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so for those that don't know how hot those are, uh, Tabasco. I remember it's around uh, five thousand uh, discovered units. Yeah. Uh, and this one is at two million. So if you getting, if you think that um, Tabasco is spicy, uh, it's, it's, it's yeah. is like it's nothing crazy. Okay. Okay, man. Um, <sighs> should oh we God. start with the, the my, first one? My heartbeat, it's it's up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay. okay. The first one is easy. Okay. So well, Anso Morita. I want to check the um, the pineapple one. Mm -hmm. Do I have to eat it all? It's up to you. I will try to eat them all. Mm -hmm. As I'm doing also this for the first time, my challenge is to eat all the hot wings, but if you just want to take a bite, it's up to you. So the first question uh, in this podcast is always, mm -hmm. uh, what is your distance from your destination? Meaning, okay. what is your goal right now? Mm -hmm. And how far do you think you are to get there? Okay, let me enjoy this because it's really good, actually. Okay, every year my goal is different, and that's I think that's a good thing because when I started doing photography, my main goal was capturing moments with my friends, and that's it. Okay, then after a few months, I realized that. I don't really care about the place that we are in, but I'm interested more in the person. And then the goal suddenly became portraits. And that's how everything started. Like 
I was like, okay, this is interesting. Capturing feelings and uh, mm -hmm. like a thought, like in a picture. So that's how it started. So exponentially this changed a lot and to become a profession, like it took me almost three years to have the idea of making this full time. So I don't know how far am I from my goals because I don't know what the goals are yet. Mm -hmm. um, I have a wishful thinking about uh, maybe becoming a, a photography director in a video clip or something. Mm -hmm. This is something I would like to do. My God, the fires are so bright. It's amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, th that's the good thing that I don't know, I think. Okay. If you know, maybe you have a goal and you can go t towards the goal, mm -hmm. but if this changes every single day, maybe that's more exciting. I don't know. Mm. That's just me. You said that you're changing every year. Yeah. Okay. Did you achieve all those goals every year or it's just, mm. just it? I think I did. Awesome. I mean, I'm doing photography full time. Mm -hmm. uh, I live from it. So yeah. Awesome. I think I did. Um, Until did now. This goal of becoming a director, how far do you think you are? From a scale of one um, to ten? Maybe five? five. I don't know. You are halfway there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I'm actually five, but mm -hmm. I am uh, I'm hard on myself. Like, I know that some people think, okay, he's ready to do that, mm -hmm. but I want to have more expertise on uh, equipment about uh, cinematography that maybe I don't have the experience for mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Maybe, maybe five. Great. I think you are more, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Panos Astor Kofas. Yes. Panos is the name. Kofas yeah. is the um, surname. Mm -hmm. Astor is the nickname, right? Astor was a nickname I had from a kid mm -hmm. and it stuck with me. H how did it came up? Um, I started doing graffiti when I was really young. I didn't know about that. Yep. <laughs> and I needed a tag. And I really liked S-T-O as the letters look yeah. like. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I was S-T-O, no, I need to add something. And then I added an R and store. Oh, store sounds good. But then I realized there is a guy in Marusi with the same name. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I added an A and then came Astor. But it, 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 it so happens that Astor is actually a name. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a practical, it's yeah. a name, mm -hmm. it exists. It's yeah. an Italian name. Yeah. So in the beginning, I thought it's your second name, your yeah. middle name. No, no, it's a nickname, but it turns out it's a name, but it stuck with me. So awesome. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had also the problem with tagging mm -hmm. uh, the name when doing graffiti. So I never had a name. Really? <laughs> yeah, I never tagged. <laughs> okay. I had a different story because my father was a policeman. Oh, and okay. when, when I, I yeah, <laughs> and when I started, I was very uh, skeptical about it. And I'm like, oh my God, if they catch me, my father's name, mm. it's gonna be all over the police station. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. Oh, okay. And then I started using Photoshop. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What age did you start using Photoshop? Um, 13 maybe. Oh, so you were early. Yeah. Photo manipulation mainly. And uh, like, I, knew, I think I knew pretty well how to handle Photoshop. Mm. And when I started photography, that made uh, completely, that made, made a huge improvement to my photos mm -hmm. because I could make it up with the editing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I think I started Photoshop around 18 or something. 18? Yeah. But I started at around 13, I started uh, doing like video editing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I started doing videos way before starting uh, uh, messing around with pictures. <laughs> See, it's pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. We started before we actually doing what we're doing now. Yeah, that's true. So you want to go for the second one? Yeah, I want to eat the pineapple. Mmm, I like this one. I'm happy that you like it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I think the first one was Spicier. Really? No. This is um, 
400 something. This is the 2500. No way. Uh, really? But I think it's to its people, it hits differently. Maybe, Even if this one is hotter. Yeah, maybe it um, takes time. Yeah, and I also it's some of them yeah, kick immediately, some kick uh, later on. So I think the the the, the more the more spicier it is, mm -hmm. the longer it, it gets to get to you. Oh yeah, maybe I, I you never. Think, if um, you think about it, yeah. like the more the most spicy thing I've ever had in, like mm -hmm. it takes time. What's what was the spiciest thing you had? You know. <laughs> oh, it, it was that sauce. We, yeah, we it's together. one million scold unit. Scold unit. unit. Okay, so you're around here today. Yeah, we're gonna double it. Double, 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 double. Oh my god. Okay. okay. So no worries until then. Okay. Right? I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm just chilling um, for now. You studied a uh, mechanical engineer. Yeah. And now you're working full time photographer. But I know that your first job was as a graphic designer for one year. How this yeah. came up? Actually, um, I've done a lot of jobs mm -hmm. because I was. Um, I was helping my father uh, when I was uh, like really young. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing like uh, coffee tables and uh, I was doing some uh, work for a guy in Monastiraki. I would like the mail boy, I would go everywhere for him. But my, my first like legit job was, uh, was in Paxos. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the, de the designer actually job because I was working in the warehouse. Okay. This is how I started. Like I was, uh, I was carrying items every day for them, but, uh, they knew that I have some experience with Photoshop and they're like, oh, we have an opening. Would you like to try it? And I'm like, okay. And that's how Great. I got the job. And I was working there while I was studying engineering. Okay. So it was, it was the at the same time with the, with the uni. Mm -hmm. And when I finished uni, I did my uh, yeah. internship. Yeah, I did it on uh, on BIC. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. a great job. I know that yeah, a lot of people that are creative mm -hmm. have worked in weird, um, not weird, but a lot of different kind of jobs. Mm -hmm. And I think you are the only one I know that worked in a factory later on. Yeah. And yeah, I think you worked there for two years and you wanted to leave to do photography. Mm -hmm but your boss wanted to give you a raise and you were waiting okay, so this what is, happened there this is a really sad story but okay. we're not gonna go into details but <laughs> it's uh, up to you yeah but uh to sum it up like i worked in factories and i've lost oh my god hiccups you started already great uh, <laughs> yeah after after the military mm -hmm. uh, i lost the job on big because of the military. Mm -hmm. No worry. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was looking for a job for a job for like five months after that, and I couldn't find anything. And then I worked on the factory, you know, mm -hmm. about no details. It wasn't a pleasant uh, experience there. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, maybe it was because that that job, because it was so hard and difficult, like made me realize what exactly I want to do with my life. Mm -hmm. So that's really important, I think. Yeah. So I don't remember who said that, mm -hmm. but he said that if you don't know what to do with your life, you should find the shittiest thing that you don't like to do. Oh, it's, it was Casey Neistat. I was yeah. about you to should, say that. You should find it was the, Casey the shittiest Neistat, dude. thing yes. that you don't want to do. and. By doing that, you will find um, this guy is such an inspiration. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> when I started seeing his video, like he has, I, I was thinking this has so much potential in YouTube mm. because I started watching him when he had like 50,000 okay. subscribers. I was like from the first ones I ever mm -hmm. saw him and I was immediately in love with his work. And I'm like, this has so much potential. Yeah. And look at him now. I mean, yeah. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. I think it's important to uh, to meet inspiring people in your life. Mm -hmm. Like, w at the time I was at the factory, I actually met Insane Fifty One. Oh, okay. I wanted to ask you how. He yeah, met. it was about that period of time, and he was an inspiration to chase my dreams. So, what was he was also working there? No, no. 
Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, he he had a girlfriend who who that girlfriend was a friend of mine. Okay. And <laughs> she was like, oh, I have a friend who is doing uh, climbing as well. Maybe you should be friends. And yeah. that's how we met up. And I'm like, there's also something that we have in common. We yeah. Rock climbing. We have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> Working in the factory, mm-hmm. did you learn anything that you still apply to this day doing that job? Okay. Working at the factory uh, made me uh, appreciate the things I have mm-hmm. and, the, and the job I'm doing right now because uh, people are paying me to do what I love. So that's really important. And every time someone trusts me with their money and they're giving me money to do what I want to do, I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And that's that's thanks to that job. And um, I think that uh, I had some dreams before going uh, to the factories and stuff, mm-hmm. but um, it's, it's really weird how you have a plan in your life And then you get to an age where you're like, okay, nothing is going to change now. Like, I'm done. This is it. Mm. And then you made a decision and everything changes. Yeah. So that's, that's just really have inspiring. the same feeling, yeah. When I had city jobs, <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is the, this the is rest it. of my life now. This is it. <laughs> yeah, I remember exactly the time that I made the decision because I was like down on all fours, wiping the floor from some uh, liquid that spilled. And I was doing this. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I doing here <laughs> with my life? <laughs> and that's how it clicked. That's like in, a, in an instant. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Very inspiring. Awesome. Ready for the next one? Yeah. How do you handle your whole things? No, your spicy things. I mean, do you have hiccups or how mm. do you react? How do your body react? I get really sweaty. Okay. Like, really sweaty. Mm-hmm. You're gonna sing. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Oh, okay. Hmm? Which one do you like until now? The pineapple was the best until now. Another thing that they do in the show, the hot ones, um, yeah. is to have like an Instagram photo and the guest explains the story. Okay. I didn't go through your Instagram, but I have this photo. Maybe you can explain what's happening here. What's the backstory of this? <laughs> Same on you. Same on you. Okay, this is my first trial to become a an event photographer. Mm-hmm. Um, where was it? I don't remember the place. It was uh, I can't remember the place. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was uh. Early in my early days of uh, trying to do this like full time and make money out of it, mm-hmm. and I was trying a lot of different things. Like, I've done weddings, I've done commercial uh, like items. Mm-hmm. I tried night events. This was the worst one for, for me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's not my cup of tea. Like, okay. I, I don't like. I wouldn't go to a club to have fun. So working there. Oh yeah, I get, I get it. It doesn't work for yeah. me, you know? Same for me. It's yeah. the same for weddings. I don't enjoy weddings. Mm. Like I don't I don't like the whole thing like at all. So it doesn't work for me. I have to do something that I like. So Yeah, I get it. But that was a really interesting day. So I'm going back to you leaving the factory. Yeah. To start working as a photographer. Mm-hmm. I want you to take us to the journey of going through passion. Okay. Uh, actually, hobby to passion to career to hobby to nightmares to <laughs> okay to stress. Yeah, what, what was the journey? Yeah. Okay. Um, when I quitted my job, I didn't have anything stable, photography wise. Mm-hmm. Like I had some people that I worked with, but I didn't have anything that was stable, like every month. Mm-hmm. So it was a big risk for me to take. Uh, this decision and chase it, you know? Uh, but I really believed that I could do it and I really wanted to do it. And everything that I've done until then, I was really proud of as like photography wise. So I thought like sky is the limit. You can get better, you can uh, 
worked harder, like uh, make mm-hmm. new uh, uh, collabs with people that you admire. And these things happened, mm-hmm. like in the in the uh, like in like a year. In the first year. Yeah, in like I wait. I think four months after I quit it, I flew to London to direct a video clip. That's like, great. I, I couldn't do that before. Mm-hmm. Like if I worked in the factory, I couldn't do that. So how did this happen so fast? Um, I had the. Uh, I had Aphrodite, mm-hmm. who's a friend of mine, and she's a great artist. And we had done actually a video clip together. And we were talking and she was saying to me that she had thoughts of doing like a second one and she really wanted to do it with me. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. And she's like, do you want to come to London to do it? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Be- because this isn't something that I would do. Mm-hmm. You know, like I had a work, like I couldn't leave to fly to London. But then I realized, okay, I can do anything I want now. And that f- uh, feeling of freedom, mm-hmm. like creative freedom, it was amazing. Awesome. Very interesting that I asked you how far you are from becoming a producer, pro- production manager. I don't remember now the exact word. In the beginning, direction of direction, photography. Exactly. DOP. In a video clip or something. Yeah. You said I'm five of t- uh, to 10 and now you're saying you're saying that I in have, the first uh, month you already done that <laughs> yeah but uh it's how you do it yeah definitely i mean i've done it but it's not at the level that i want to do it mm-hmm. you know yeah definitely it's not that i'm not proud of my works mm-hmm. like the, when i look back okay i can realize that now i would do things differently but it's the experience i gained from those things mm. and it's really good to see how i progressed through time yeah, that's true. Yeah, seeing back your work, do you have what's their feelings of watching your first mm. photos, your first my videos? first photos? Yeah, my first photos were when I was in the factory. So, what that means is that I could never shoot with daylight. Oh, okay. Never, because <laughs> I would uh, I would go for photo shoots like seven, eight. So P- like PM the like time or no, not even completely dark, not completely dark. Okay. So when I started learning photography, it was really hard because I didn't have any light source. Like it wasn't day. So I really had to struggle how to make this work. Mm. So I did everything I could. And the trend then in Instagram was like, uh, those fairy lights and oh, okay. LED lights and <laughs> neon signs and everything. And reflections with a prism and everything i've done that Mm -hmm. uh i I don't know if i would do it again if you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but um it's not something i'm not proud of this is what uh, i went through to gain the experience to be here today yeah so when i see something okay i'm not gonna say that oh my god it's a great picture because Mm -hmm. it's not yeah. For my taste. Mm-hmm. Maybe someone sees it and, yeah, yeah. and he actually likes it. Yeah. But for my taste, it's completely different now. Mm, like get, the, the, the mindset, it's completely different. Uh, so I know that factories, you start really early. So if you were living at night, how many hours did you work there? Uh, 10 hours, eight to eight, eight to 10 hours, okay. six days a week. Well, six days a week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I want to ask you when you transition, you know, from hobby to full time job. What mm-hmm. was the biggest difficulty you faced? Uh, charging people. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Even now, mm-hmm. like I think this is completely underrated how hard it is. Mm-hmm to have a price on your work because it's you that put the price. Mm-hmm. Um, even now I struggle. Even now, like uh, I have a price for something specific, let's say. Mm-hmm. And when I do it and I look back, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. maybe I should have charged more, you know? Okay. Because it's, I put a lot of, a, a lot of effort in my work. Mm-hmm. And people don't realize that photography, it's not about clicking the pictures. It's, uh, it has a lot of work afterwards. So the customers don't really know 
how much effort I put after the yeah. photo shoot. Um, yeah, I think the the price pricing things was really tough. I remember contacting uh, people who were professional photographers, but were closer to mm -hmm. to me. Like I, I I could ask them and with no problem. Mm -hmm. And I would ask him, how should I price this? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's fair, you know? And uh, I think that helped a lot. Like asking people. Asking, like, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. take an opinion, you know? Don't be afraid. Great. Great that you said that because I think that all of the design, uh, all of the creatives actually, in the beginning, this is the first thing that you will struggle, pricing yeah. yourself. And so you hard, know. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't find the YouTube video like <laughs> you should price this this way because everything is different. Like we're in Athens. It's not the same in London. It's completely different. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, are you ready to take it to the next one? Next level? What is this? <laughs> Dirty dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, tasty, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with a tropical twist. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is good. I don't know if we used a lot of time between those. Yeah. I don't really feel the difference mm -hmm. yet. Mm. So the thing is in hot ones, they have 10 sauces mm -hmm. and they're doing it, they are doing it in uh, 20 minutes or so. So it's a we lot of seven and it's, it's like in an hour. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if it's worse towards the end, because you have the, it's not like really fast. You need to wait ten minutes. You can tell I like this one right? on the next one. You can tell I like this. Yeah, like I'm I was sure if you like this one, I was sure that you're gonna love this one. I'm afraid of the next one. So if someone wants to turn their hobby into a career, yeah. what will be your number one tip? Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's the that's what I would say. Because fear stops you from doing anything like asking a girl out, mm -hmm. going, doing like an extreme sport or something. And when you do it and like, you're, you're always thinking, why I'm not doing this like earlier, you know, mm -hmm. it's the same thing, I think, but you have to be, you have to trust yourself to do that. Oh my God, this is hot. Really? It's starting to pick up. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> okay. So what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh yeah, uh, um, don't be afraid and uh, you need to trust yourself. Like, I don't, I don't think that anyone can make the, the dreams come true, like artistic wise, mm -hmm. because not everyone is great at what they do. Okay. But I think with hard work, you can be really, really closer to that of achieving it. Mm -hmm. Your Instagram has like 10,000 followers now. Almost. Almost. Yeah. You have a lot of portraits. Actually, you have only portraits. Yeah. Not um, only. Really? It's not the only portraits. So yeah, the main scroll in yeah. your Instagram, I will see it. You're a port portrait photographer. Yeah. I think we are, you are one of the best portrait photographers in Greece. So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm okay. <laughs> um, Thank you for saying that. You're but, humble, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, is this your main source of income or do you do other types of photography also? Okay. Instagram is a really, really great place to post your work, mm -hmm. but it's not 100% uh, accurate of what your work is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do a lot of portraits because I like portraits. This is what I like to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not, it's, it is actually my main income source, but I do a lot of things. Uh, like um, I'm doing uh, some sessions for a motocross or enduro. Okay. And I go to the mountains and I take photos of the, of the guys that are doing this. And they're paying me to do it, like it's a it's job. Um, what else? I do a lot of commercial, like for... Uh, um, for brand, clothing, jewelry, okay. uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. I don't show everything in my Instagram because I want to maintain what uh, what is something that I like. Mm -hmm. 
but I I try to to give everyone a taste of what I can do. Yeah, you know, I love I love that you are specializing there. Yeah, but you can work in other things. But yeah, what you sow should be specialized. That's yeah, because really when someone comes to me, I want him like if someone thinks I want a portrait, I want him to think of me mm -hmm. because this is what I do. But I don't want to be specific only to portraits because you cannot you cannot live like with only doing portraits. Mm -hmm. Not in Greece, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I don't know uh, how it is like in other countries, but in Greece you cannot do it. I have a big clientele of uh, of uh, actors, mm -hmm. which is really helpful because uh, I really enjoy doing those portraits because mm -hmm. they are new like. Um, actors and I'm feeling like my photos are helping them getting some roles, yeah. you know? You have a lot of famous people from Greece yeah. in your portraits. I remember a lot Mary Sinatsaki. Yeah. And I think your first photo shoot with her, another photographer messed up and you came out in the last no. moment and you no. saved the day or something like no, that. No, 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 no. It's not what happened. That you were talking about the second photo shoot that I had with her. Yeah, but probably. It wasn't that a photographer messed it up. Mm -hmm. Mary tried to do the photos by herself, but oh, okay. the client was very strict, so she needed help. That's okay, where I came okay. in. Um, I really enjoy working with Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, she is one of the one of a kind, let's say, because what you see. Uh, usually it's not the same in person, mm -hmm. but that's not the case with Mary, so that's good. No. Okay. So did anything change after that, or after that? Uh, after yeah, in general, um, after being starting photographing more famous people, did anything change? It helps. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you? It helps a lot mm -hmm. because uh, I have ten thousand followers. She had. She has like. 700,000 now, I think. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes it makes a difference yeah. because she has a broader audience and they can uh, learn who I am, where they wouldn't know if it mm -hmm. wasn't for me. So I'm very, uh, I really appreciate that thing of uh, recognition I get sometimes mm -hmm. from photographing that sort of people, you know, mm -hmm. who, had, who are more famous. Yeah. That helps. Yeah, totally get it. Yeah. When I'm scrolling through Instagram mm -hmm. and I see a photo, I know it's yours. Mm -hmm. But every time it's a different concept. Okay. But you're keeping the same brand, uh, your, your style, let's say. Yeah. Uh, how do you find inspiration and ideas to do every time a different kind of uh, photo shoot? When I do personal projects, I like to take a challenge, mm -hmm. you know, I have an idea. And sometimes it's about a person. Sometimes it's about a concept. And then I find the person. But uh, it's really, I don't think it's hard for a photographer to keep balance uh, between projects and having an identity. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's really important uh, on the same time because uh, what you said that you see my pictures and you know it's me, that's an achievement mm -hmm. because you yeah, know who I am without watching the name. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important for every photographer to have their own like identity, color-wise, uh, what they shoot. This can change, but I think you should have the same identity. You mm -hmm. know? It can change a lot, but still have yeah. it. Yeah, that's very important, actually. Yeah, I'm working on branding, so yeah. definitely. You know better. <laughs> um, what was the most unexpected thing that happened in a photo shoot? I have a lot. <laughs> 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 I think photography is a weird uh, job to do because every single time the um, the things you're going to face are completely different depending on the person you're working with, mm -hmm. okay? And if you don't have the experience, it's really easy to mess, up, to mess it up. On my first jobs, I was working on an, on an atelier of a designer. 
but she didn't have any experience regarding photography. Mm-hmm. So did I. <laughs> uh, but what was the problem? Like the clothing was for 30, 40 years old woman. Mm-hmm. And we got in like an 18 year old and a short girl, very skinny. Like it didn't work for the clothing, you know? Mm-hmm. And but they didn't have the experience to say no to the to the customer. Like we're not gonna get this model. Like because you. I was afraid I was gonna lose the job if it was going to be very strict. But you have to be. Mm-hmm. You know? But this comes with experience and a lot of mistakes you make. But uh, let me think about a weird one. Okay, I remember one. I had a photo shoot with an actress. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not like she's famous or anything. Like she's, she was a student on a drama school. And we were saying about what we're gonna do and the portraits and I was gonna go to her home and bring lights and like create a, uh, a small studio and take pictures. I'm great. Mm-hmm. And she was really pretty. So I'm like, okay, this is a piece <laughs> of cake. It's going to be easy. Yeah. But I didn't know. Uh, the same day that we had the photo shoot, she decided to color her hair for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A bright orange. The hair was legit really good. Mm-hmm. It looked amazing on her. But she hadn't de- get, got used to herself yet. So every time she was watching other pictures, it was like mm, something that it's not working for me. Okay. It, and it's obviously the hair because she, she didn't like it. And it made the job so hard. Like I was there so many hours. I sent her so many pictures. She didn't <laughs> post anything, <laughs> but it's not my fault. But it was, it was really weird to face that client yeah. and trying to uh, get it through, you know, mm-hmm. because she was like, I don't like it. Yeah. You cannot uh, lose your temper there. Like mm-hmm. you have to be okay. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. Yeah, it was really hard. That's very important. Um, you know, how do you manage clients? Yeah, um, everyone. Yeah. Um, are you ready for the bomb? I know that you watch the um, Hot One show, so you know what's coming up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> A bomb is coming. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Cheers, bro. <laughs> yeah, now it's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> Ο ποτα σκάει με τη μία, ε! Κάτσε ρε φίλε! Το φόγκ! Okay. No. <laughs> I'm not okay. You have milk and water. <sighs> Can I do this? I don't know. I think <sighs> probably this is the worst one. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm. I'm starting also to you know. <sighs> It doesn't go away.
empezar. I won't go back because some people don't know what their passion is yet. Well, I got this many. Tell them again. I'm also gonna start with you. Let's see. Go to your zone, you know. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh. The one million I had mm -hmm. is nothing compared to this. Yeah, I told you this one is the worst. What the fuck? <laughs> How? It is so spicy when the score with unit is so low. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is it's gonna be it. <laughs> Give me two minutes. <laughs> it's not going away. <laughs> is it the worst one? Yeah. And have seen the show, I think that everyone thinks this one is the worst one. If you get through this one, the next one is easy. I mean, I know what the way the name is Bomb now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take time, it's like Bomb. Yeah. Oh, I'm shaking, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm chewing up, but I, I don't wanna. I don't want to, t to touch my. Yeah, don't touch your eyes. No, no, it's a big I mistake. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a sock. What the fuck? What's going on? My legs are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can handle it way better than me. <laughs> it's not a competition. I, I mean. I'm not gonna eat this, fuck, fuck it. Yeah, don't no worry. <laughs> I do like the taste though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not an enjoyable. Yeah. Other others uh, have, have some taste. This one is like yeah. chemical. <sighs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm not okay yet. I'm still not okay. No worry, man. <laughs> I think it's uh, this it's the shock and the pain at the same time. <laughs> you are going to die. <laughs> like I eat spicy food. You're going to die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand mm -hmm. how it is, how the, the brain it's so sudden. Mm. It's not natural, you know? Yeah. <sighs> it's like pepper spray. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You, know, you don't wait, you don't expect it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> so. Uh, we talk about passion and everything, but I think that some people don't even know what their passion is right now. Yeah, I think that's the hardest part. Yeah. How, how did you, how did you find your passion, and how did, maybe how come they find theirs? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> <sighs> oh my God! All these people are so crying, and I was like, fucking pussies. <laughs> The bomb, beyond insanity, exactly, bro. <laughs> I need milk. Yeah, can't have mine. I can't okay, drink milk. anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Give me your milk, bro. I really like milk. Okay, how do you find your passion? I don't know. I think I'm. I'm really lucky. That I found. Oh my! You crying too? <laughs> yeah, I'm also. It's uh, hot, man. Yeah. It's, uh, I can handle it, but it's such a sad it, interview. It's obviously, yeah, hot. 
Uh, oh no, my nose. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. You shouldn't touch your uh, your face. <laughs> <laughs> and not your eyes. Are they worse? Seriously? I think they're hotter, but it's not worse than this one. Okay. I mean, you handled the one million on this, the chicken wing uh, when we. The one million we, was nothing. To nothing. That. Yeah, exactly. Compared to this, <laughs> nothing. Oh, I'm still shaking. I'm gonna take this off. Sorry. I'm... Okay. How do you find your password? <laughs> Five times. I'm gonna now. try to help you. So, for me, I think that people should go and look back in their past. Mm -hmm. and think what did they do on their free time when no one was watching? Why did they stay up all night? What did they wait it to you know, buy or listen or to watch? Um, sometimes our passion is right there, but we don't actually know how to find it, how to see it. I think I'm really lucky that I found something that really inspires me mm -hmm. and love doing because uh, until I was 26, I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't think it's going to happen. But when it happens, you realize how different it is to do something that you really love and enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what the fuck? <sighs> I'm shaking. <sighs> okay. And I also think that yourself, you said that you started doing Photoshoot at, uh, Photoshop at 13, yeah. but you only started doing, actually doing um, photos as a profession in 25. So it took... A, no, no. It, yeah, professionally, I started doing it 28. Oh, 28. Okay. I started photographing at um, 26. So it took even more. Yeah. Because uh, it's a funny story how, how I got my first camera. He knows. <laughs> Because he was the one uh, that said to me what camera to get. I had a, I had a huge breakup when I was 25. It destroyed me, bro. I was really sad. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, I'm really glad it happened. Because I had some money on the side, mm -hmm. and I realized. I want to do something to make me feel better. And I was thinking, okay, you're doing a lot of photo manipulation. What could you do to take it a step further? And I'm like, okay, how about I take my own pictures? So I can control everything mm -hmm. and the photo and the photo manipulation. And that's how I got my first camera. So discovering what I like, was a mis was uh, an accident. I didn't know mm -hmm. that I was gonna fall fell in love with photography. Yeah, because I took the first camera just as a means to have my own photos to mm -hmm. work on, not to take pictures. Yeah. So I think I'm really lucky, and uh, people who have something that they really love are also lucky, and we shouldn't take it uh, as granted because many mm -hmm. people don't have it. Yeah, actually it was. My second, my next question was, why is passion so important to have a passion? It's a drive to live and mm -hmm. to, uh, okay, I'm good now. Oh my God, it took <laughs> so long. <laughs> and, it, and it gives you a motivation to do things, to chase dreams, to do better and do bigger, you know? Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't have it if you don't have the passion for it. Yeah, exactly. Because I think a lot of people now, they're not happy with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're doing the job that their parents want or society or yeah. you know, life. Um, they went there and because they're missing that important ingredient, passion, mm -hmm. when something strikes that it's really hard uh, and difficult to do, they probably either, the, either they, we quit, either we find an easy way out, way out of that. Yeah. Um, if you have the passion, it gives you that boost and energy to, to yeah, go further. Not only that, I think if you want to be not the best, but be really good at something, eight hours a day, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go to work and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be the, 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 the best. No, it's the time you put after that. Mm -hmm. And that's where passion comes in because yeah. I can go for a photo shoot eight hours. And if I really enjoy it, 
I'm gonna stay home all night editing because I like it. Yeah, that's what makes you better. Mm -hmm. The drive to uh, go through the hours and give your special, your personal time on it, mm -hmm. and explore new things and think of ideas or where to go. Like the a client, my last client saw me a reference picture of a, a photo shoot I did. He was like, that's a great location for mm -hmm. a photo shoot. And I was thinking that this specific location was because I went for a drive uh, with some of my friends. Mm -hmm. This location was like two hours out of Athens. And I always, I'm always uh, picturing uh, photo, mm -hmm. photographs, you know, and how could do this and maybe this could work. And when I see a place, I'm like, okay, I can take this photo here. You yeah, know? shoot in a different way. That place I had pinned it on my maps two years ago because I just passed by. Oh, okay. And I was thinking, I'm going to come here one day and do a fashion photo shoot. And that's what I did two years later. But it's this passion that makes you think of it every single day and all the time. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't just pass, pass by the, the landmark, mm -hmm. say, okay? I thought about it. Like, I'm going to work on it. Mm -hmm. That's how I think passion works. Yeah. And I think also that you, you, you are on the other side working like 10 hours in a job that you don't like. So later on working 15 hours in a job that you like, it's like nothing. Yeah. And I don't feel like working, to be honest. Yeah. That's, Th the, that's the important thing, I, I think. Yeah. I don't feel like when I have a, a job and I know that tomorrow, I'm going to work eight hours and I'm going to do this really hard photo shoot, like in a, in a hotel with a, with a model mm -hmm. of, of with, from an agency and we have a stylist and we have makeup and all of this has to work together and I have to fix the lighting and I have to carry everything all the time. I don't think of this. I, en I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy doing it. I'm, I like, I, I legitimately, legit, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I truly having fun there, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I think another um, hard thing for people that they have a passion and they're working right now in a job that they, that they hate mm -hmm. and they want to quit, but they can because they're scared of, you know, the they will not have money later on. Yeah. And if you go to a job that you don't are not sure if you will have an income, it's very difficult. Any comments on that? Any tips? Uh, I was really lucky that uh, I had my parents to support mm -hmm. me when I uh, when I decided to uh, to quit my job and chase my dreams. Uh, I was really lucky because I don't have a family. I'm not married. I don't have kids. Uh, so it was pretty easy on me mm -hmm. to to make the transition. I know it's not easy for everyone, but if you think that I started doing this, mean uh, at the same time I was uh, working on the factories, like mm -hmm. anyone can do that. Mm -hmm. There's no, there aren't there aren't any excuses, you know. Yeah. I was working ten days, ten hours a day. I was going home, taking a bath, taking my camera, goodbye. Yeah. If you want to yeah. do it, you're going to do it. You're yeah. going to find time mm -hmm. and you're going to find the way to do it. Now, uh, money wise, I don't think like there is a start that's easy. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. Yeah. And you have, uh, I think if you ask any su successful artist or anyone successfully in their work field, you know, what they're going to say is that they never quit it doing it. Mm -hmm. That's how you succeed. You never stop doing it. Yeah. At some point, you're gonna make it. You're gonna yeah, make it. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But you have to. T you you have to put the time and effort mm -hmm. in it. Definitely. That's the secret, I think. Yeah. And definitely, what you said. Um, like even if you don't have help in the beginning, mm -hmm. doing it after you you're working to pay the rent. Okay, ten hours. But then you can spend instead of. Being on Netflix for two hours, you can spend it on your passion. Exactly. And day by day, this will, you know, be like a part, maybe part job or something. You're going to start making a little bit more money. Yeah. And then you can quit later on. I had a, I had a conversation with a, a really famous photographer in Greece. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it matters to say his name, but he's Something one like of the most famous persons in uh, person in uh, in Greece, photography wise. And I asked him some question because I needed advice on what to do uh, professionally wise. And he said to me that uh, if you're afraid of uh, not making it and uh, not having enough money to do it. Mm -hmm. He said to me, go do a, a part-time job, serve tables. Okay. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Just don't stop doing the other thing. Mm -hmm. And when that actually uh, succeeds and makes you money, stop doing the part-time job. Yeah. But don't stop doing what you love. Mm. Should we go for the next one? Are yeah. you ready? Yeah, I'm going to be cautious now. <laughs> This one is hot, hotter, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't like that look that you gave me. Why? <laughs> you I'm gonna go what? first. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter if you go first. You can handle it. No. Oh. I don't know. It hits uh, early or not like this one. It's busy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that a lot of time now. I have um, a bike for the top. <coughs> I'm not gonna eat them whole because I think I'm gonna puke. You don't need to. I'm just gonna have a taste. Yeah, you don't need to. I'm, I'm really afraid now. That was my challenge. <laughs> you have a completely different one. This is it? I told you, this one is the worst. Oh, it's creeping up on me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I know that you're a huge gamer. Yeah. You finished like Cyberpunk came out like last week. You finished it in five days, 70 hours. Four days. Like, <laughs> four days. Four days. Awesome. <laughs> no, five days. What's your favorite video game ever? Mm. Witcher 3. The world is so immersive, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a really great story. <clears throat> and that's what I enjoy in a video game the most. Mm -hmm. Like having a great story. This is what drives me to play video games. Yeah. If I uh, get consumed in the world and the story, that's a good game for me. Yeah. Now it's even better than movies. Some yeah. stories in video games are way better than movies. I'm okay with this. Oh, you see? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, but. Exactly. My God, the bomb, bro. <laughs> um. Sorry, this is one million? No, this is six hundred six hundred thousand. Okay. Something like that. It's hot, but yeah. you know, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna drink a little good. bit more just to be safe. Yeah. Uh which game do you think has the best like photography? What? Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh yeah. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. This this game was fucking amazing. Like I would take my horse. It's kicking now. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I was taking. <coughs> Why did we do this? <laughs> it's uh no, it's the pain that makes you stronger later on. It's not that bad. Like the bomb is ten yeah. times. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh my god. I just think this is gonna take longer, you know, to get over it. <laughs> I cannot talk. <laughs> okay, Red Dead Redemption. Amazing photography. I would take my horse and I would never fast travel because I wanted to feel how big the world is and, and explore everything. Mm -hmm. That that game was like really close yeah. with Witcher 3 for me, mm -hmm. for to top one. Uh, game wise, I think Witcher was better mm -hmm. overall. Character wise, I think the character of, of Arthur was the best written character I've ever seen in a video game ever. I was so close with him. Mm -hmm. I, I could really feel Everything he was saying, I 
I cried, I laughed. It was a, a really uh, great experience yeah. to play this game. Yeah, all the emotions. Yeah, because I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, like it sucked me in this new world and the characters that I didn't know was amazing. Mm. How yeah. did you do that? Yeah. Cybergun was really good too, mm -hmm. though. It really, it really needs refining, mm -hmm. but uh, like I'm playing in my PC, which is a really expensive one, so I could like play it in like high in, resolution. Yeah, ultra X uh, yeah. ray yeah. tracing. Especially if you're playing like open world with awesome graphics, I think that's the way to play it. If you can play it in 4K, yeah, but it has it, it needs um, optimizing. Because there are some things that uh, you see and uh, it, 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 it like it steals the experience away, you know? Mm. We talk about how to price and talk to, how to talk to clients, yeah. uh, how you are with your business skills. I know that you, are, you have some awesome creative skills, but how you are with your business? I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is a really tough question um, with my business skills. Yeah, because if you go from passion to career, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It's one of the things you need. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna explain to you why I'm thinking I'm horrible at this because the most photographers I know, uh, they are they are the ones that they are selling offers to clients, mm -hmm. like to huge brands. They would say they would send like a PDF with the pricing and the portfolio and everything. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't send to anyone. Like the the the, the work I have is mainly not mainly. It's one hundred percent from people that they are uh, coming to me. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. I think I'm losing a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Uh, I'm always trying to mm -hmm. get better at this side of uh, of my job, but uh, it needs a lot of work to do it because I think it's a good idea actually. To do it, I, I do. I, I'm working the same way, and when clients come to you, you have all the leverage. It's not like you're yeah. begging for a job. Yeah, no, but something you're missing opportunities. I think. No, I think that you, in in the end, you are working with people that you want to work with. Okay. And the projects are better because of that. It's not like sending PDF and you know compete competing with other companies for the lower price. Um, they're coming to you for you and it's... Yeah, and important. I really appreciate that. But sometimes I think maybe I should have sent like a message to someone, you know? Yeah. Okay. I start, I'm starting to do this mm -hmm. on a personal level though. Like I don't send to any branch or yeah. mm -hmm. for a work specific related thing, but uh, I'm starting to send messages to like models or someone that I want to photograph that I wouldn't yeah, do. Yeah, that's that's important. Yeah, because it's like you're admiring the the person and not so much. It's not like so much for the job. It's not it's, a work. Thing. Yeah, it's not work. It's more a, of a hobby thing. So yeah, well, almost almost in the end, uh, <laughs> where people can find you, where people can find me. Yeah. So social media will, wise, yeah, I will have your links and okay. everything. But what's should they go on your Instagram? I have the best? I have Instagram, I have Facebook, I have uh, uh, that kind of thing. I have Behance, Behance, Behance. Mm -hmm. I have uh, I have a site of my own. Mm -hmm. But I think the the easiest way to communicate with me is probably my Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's very uh, straightforward, you know? Mm -hmm. You send me a message, I'm gonna see it. Great. So, we are almost in the end. You know the show. <laughs> I'm not gonna so, do the last dab, bro. This is not hot ones. It's not a tradition to add, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> you don't need to do it. I'm not gonna do it. You know why? Uh, you don't have anything to prove. You know why? You because I saw you how much you put in this. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna add more. Are you serious? Do you think that, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> um, the last before term. you bite the last one, yeah. 
Another thing that I do in every podcast in the end is okay. ask three fast questions. Okay. You can answer fast. Okay. Whatever pops in your mind, and then you can expand. But okay, yeah. okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> You're eating everything. No. Yeah, man. <coughs> uh, which famous person would you love to take a uh, a photo with? Uh, a portrait, actually, of, mm. of him or her. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. yeah. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Awesome person. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. Big Me fan. Too. Me too. <laughs> then you should play Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> he was great in the game. Okay. Don't spoil it, but nope. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're also doing uh, both rock climbing. Yeah. If you could do only one type of rock climbing for the rest of your life, boulder, boulder, speed, boulder, or lead, one hundred percent boulder. Okay, why why boulder? I think that the fact that all the uh, difficulty of the road, mm -hmm. it's so tight, uh, you know, compressed in a few steps, mm -hmm. make it so challenging. And uh, I always feel like when I send the problem on Boulder, I don't know why, but it feels so much better than uh, top rope or lead, you mm -hmm. know? Also, uh, the routes that I've been uh, for climbing, I think the Boulder ones are more uh, uh, smart, smartly uh, created. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the choreography while climbing mm. it's way harder. Yeah, and way more exciting to complete. Mm -hmm. I think it's also telling a lot about you because it's like solving a problem, obviously, yeah. uh, almost, and you need to decide which way to go if you're gonna go for the the half point i don't remember how you, you tell it or the um, the top okay so yeah i think Very uh, interesting i think climbing has some things that are the same with photography mm -hmm. because the competition is your your own self you know mm -hmm. so it's really nice when you completing challenge or doing something that you're proud of mm -hmm. because the only person you need to congratulate is yourself yeah so that's a really good feeling uh, <laughs> 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 last one um what's another estimated skill that everyone should learn generally speaking or photography wise yeah not generally skill. be kind mm -hmm. It costs nothing, just be kind to anyone. I see a lot of people being really aggressive and not well-mannered to strangers. And I think it's the worst thing you can ever do. Like I see, when I, if I'm with someone mm -hmm. and they, they don't talk politely like to a server or something, I'm so mad. Yeah. I'm really mad. I think uh, being kind to everyone uh, is helping being kind to yourself so also so I think it's a good step I love that you said that yeah so it's what kind of person you are <laughs> <laughs> and man you made it I not made only it. were in the podcast you ate like two thousand two million Scoville right now okay you went through the we gotta be honest sauce. I ate the half wing of this it's okay man but I ate it okay yeah right oh my god you made it and I'm really happy that you were my guest and thank you so much for taking the challenge uh, because you. it takes guts to do that. <laughs> uh, thank you for being on the podcast, man. I would say thank you, but you tortured me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So I don't know how thankful I am right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Anything else you want to say? Um, Follow this guy. <laughs> His work is underrated. He's such a great guy. That's it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for being here. <laughs>
<laughs> How do you feel? Spicy. <laughs> <laughs>